uh, for people who have done a little bit of homework and know who you are, why should they believe you about what you think and feel about Sean Diddy Combs and any allegations against him, given your history of animosity with him? Well, first of all, I'm not calling you and nobody else to get, in, get nobody to believe anything regarding him. Like I said, and I always say, me personally, I don't jump up and down and cheer for no black man going to prison or any other man, any other human being going to prison. Because people think prison is always the answer. I'm not saying a lot of people don't deserve to do their time and, 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 and see what's going on. But at the same time, that's not no cheerful thing because when you look at it, it that, he, that man have kids. Mm -hmm. And whatever affects him definitely affects his kids. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of victims involved in it, and whatever affects them affects their kids. So it's not a good thing to be talking about any kind of any shit about the next person. But it's always, it's not a gray area with me. And at the same time, Puffy didn't react or get where he got or doing those things or those allegations by himself. He was taught from people before him, and he did it to the younger people after him. And we can talk all day and say what's true and what's not true. But the true part about it is videos, conversations, and people can see what they've done. Mm -hmm. But for it, being happy and proud and, and say, what do people think? That's irrelevant. So sure. It's just like I heard earlier today that but I heard earlier today when Ray J was talking to TMZ. Mm -hmm. I got love for Harvey. But I see Charles always got some negative to say when it comes to West Coast people. And Charles tried to make a reference to say that what do I, what, how do I feel when I'm in prison? I'm in prison. I guarantee you, I'm free more than Charles. If I feel like sleeping to five o'clock, or uh, I want to sleep twelve hours a day, I can. Sure. But besides all that, the fact is, it's not no competition. Who's gonna talk the loudest uh, or talk the best? It's not something positive that can help anybody. I don't get on no platforms that should be something positive. If it ain't positive. I understand what you're saying. I want you to try to make some positive points here. I get what you're saying about TMZ, but that's not really my interest, as you might imagine. My interest is in what you can help people understand about these allegations oh, right. that Diddy is facing and what you believe he's facing on the inside. Mm -hmm. Now, what's most interesting to me is that you seem to see Diddy as kind of an Epstein kind of figure, uh, that Jeffrey Epstein, that a lot of people know what Diddy was about and he, they were about the same thing. And that's why they're quiet. That's why J-Lo and Ben Affleck got divorced because of videos that he has of her that now they know about. Where is this coming from with you? What do you believe about the people around Diddy and what everybody knows? Well, first of all, you got to start with at the top. You starting with the top. Clyde Davis, Russell Simmons, Andre Rail, Jimmy Iovine. And even if you take Jimmy Iovine, he had an allegation from him, same thing, he went away. He took Jimmy IV. They told me a universal the Interscope. I said, you know what? We can't deal with artists that gets in trouble. And your artist gets in trouble, they talk crazy. They think about what they see. Now, I was told that I can't do business there because of that. Now, Doug Morris gave Puffy a deal for millions of dollars. It flopped. So when you look at all these things and everybody want to say puffy, 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 don't get me wrong. Yeah, puffy stepped in this shit and even if he wiped the shit off his shoe, it still stinks. But he's not the only one. Mm. They got all the tapes. They now, got when all you the talk video. about the tapes, but this who, been going on what, for a long time. Who, hold on, Shug. Help us understand because a lot of this stuff is a little inside baseball for people, right? Uh, because they don't live the life, they don't know the Let's world, they don't know the place. Your telephone number will um, be monitored and but, recorded. Uh, that's just the recording from the prison that's just saying that they record it, which obviously they do. Shug, help people understand what tapes are you talking about? Who has them? And what kinds of things do you think they show? Well, number one, <laughs> luckily, 
I want I want their first choice, their second choice. I want their choice to be at those freaky parties. But you know what they show? They used to have a thing in the industry, right? And the sad thing about it, I don't like missing the Usher. I don't like missing the Justin Bieber. I don't like missing all these people that everybody know what time it is. So at the same time, in uh, they used to have a joke. They never played this joke with me. And they used to walk in the Interscope office. They'll go back there and they'll be like, hey, we passed the test. I said, we haven't did the test. What do you say? Well, don't say that in front of Mr. Knight because he's going to take it offensive and hurt somebody. I said, well, whatever it is, I probably will take it offensive when somebody will get their ass whooped. You know, that was me in those days. But they used to have these guys, they used to call it the ball egg test. They used to take a ball egg, a raw ball egg, and have those guys put their pants down and bend over and they stick it up their ass. The eggs break, they say they're not ready yet. They ain't put enough work in. This is Hollywood. So everybody want to go act like they don't know what's going on. Hold on a second. Sure. You just look. Sure. You got to do I have, I have never heard of anything like that. So if I haven't heard about it, just assume a lot of people okay, well, haven't heard that before. Okay, but you think stop, it's stop, on stop, video? Stop for a second. Let's, stop, let's stop for a second. Go ahead, Shug. Yeah, listen, also, have you ever been to any puppy parties? No. You showed it after a long time to think about it, but if you haven't been in those butt naked parties, even some of the preachers been in those parties, and they weren't on their knees praying for God, <laughs> see, they was praying for somebody to have come real quick or something. But I wasn't there, but it's proof of it. At the same time, everybody want to look around and act like something going on that wasn't right. It's the facts of life in the industry, not for the people who don't get in. So, everybody, you got to look at it like this. You see a beautiful woman, or you see a handsome man. And it was like that all their life. From elementary school to junior high school to high school, if they forced to go to college, college, right? They always knew they had something special about themselves. But you take some of the Hollywood executives or some artists, they might have been the ugly duckling for a long time before they had the teeth sticks and lipsticks. And nose fix all the work done. Underneath, they still the young man with no confidence because they've been that way all their fucking life. So all of a sudden, if you look at puffy old pictures, don't look nothing like his new pictures. You know, shit, they, they didn't do everything. But, but sure, just because he has plastic surgery. All, of them. all I'm saying is, I'm not saying that you're wrong about rich people doing stuff to their face or whatever it is. But that's different than the allegations that are coming I down on him. I'm talking about rich people. I'm talking about the difference. I'm talking about, okay, look, look at it like this. Mm. I look at real plain and simple. Ain't no, ain't no whistleblower. Facts is there. But right now, I don't care if it's P.I., I don't care if it's Rick Ross, I don't care if it's Jay, I don't care if it's Snoop, I don't care if it's Game, I don't care if it's Dre. Nobody's stepping up on the fact that you know what's going on. Nobody's defending him. You You're right. You had guys in Interscope. You're okay. right. Okay. Nobody is defending okay. him, but that's why I was interested in hearing your perspective. Hey, I'd like to say this too real quick. You got a woman that works for you is really incredible. You don't find too many people. I thought you were about to really implicate her, her in the investigation. I'm just glad you're not implicating <laughs> Dusty in the investigation, show because I can't take that. <laughs> she, no, she's not in the investigation. Right, but right, what good. I want to do for her is, I want to, and look, I got to do this for her, but I want to turn her on to the to this, 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 this clothing line called um, Girls Mondays to uh, Sunday. Girl Monday to Sunday. And I'm definitely going to look out for her because I buy a lot of shit for a lot of people from that place. But look, what I was basically trying to say is this. I respect your show and respect what you're doing, but most important thing is is the, is um there's got to be a solution because this has been going on in the industry for a whole bunch of years for decades and at the same time you know nobody wants this to be true and it shouldn't have to be true but if we don't fix it and do something about mm. it history will constantly repeat itself. itself now Shug, you said something now, early on that I want to get clarification point. for the audience Shug. you said early on you can't just look at Diddy in isolation. You said this was done to him. He learned from others and it was done to him and then he did to others. To me, 
That sounds like what I hear when people are talking about abusive situations, you know, hurt people, hurt people, that someone was sexually abused. They wind up being a perpetrator. Is that what you're suggesting about Sean Combs, that he was sexually abused and he now sexually abuses? Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. I think he repeat what was done to him. And like I said, if you look at Russell Simmons, you know the truth. Andre Rail, you know the truth. Clyde Davis, you know the truth. Jimmy Iveen, you know the truth. So there's not certain things that all of a sudden you got this. The industry is a quick business. It's been like that for a long time. Mm. And the casting couch is real, but it's for women and men. But far from all that, I think the most important thing is the. I feel like they should let Puffy tell his truth. I'm quite sure he's going to expose a lot of people. I'm sure he's going to move forward with it. But I don't think it should be a situation like the Epstein thing where they found him hanging from the ceiling and dead for the truth to come out. Do you believe that? I think that, the truth need to be. Do you believe that Diddy is in danger? in prison, and do you have advice for him based on what you just said? Well, the first advice I have, I don't ever want to say he's in danger, and neither should he say that. Because once he gets to the point where they feel he's going to be suicidal to himself, harmful to himself, once they put him on suicide watch, you had a right to nothing. No socks, no drawers, no T-shirt, no blanket, no sheets. You asshole naked in a cell as a crazy man. So he definitely don't want to do that. And, and the other advice I would tell him, you know, maybe he should get on the Jewish diet. Because the kosher meals is way better than the, the food somebody else is making for you. At least they're going to come hot. They're going to come sealed. And you got to be the one to open them. That's okay. very important. What about people Anytime trying to hurt go him? To jail or I mean, one of the things is this. I don't care who you are. Prison and jail is a negative environment. If somebody can do something to them and get a name for themselves, they're going to actually do it. Or if they can do whatever they feel they, they got to do to prove themselves. But we also got to learn. We got to learn from our mistakes. Everything don't have to be a mistake. You got to better yourself. But we all know what we signed up for in life. So if I sign up to be a football player, I knew I'm going to get hit and I'm going to hurt some motherfuckers too. So I signed up to be in the music business and the entertainment business. If you fight for right and being a black man, there's certain things you got to look at for some challenges. If they can't take the money from you, they take you from the money by putting you in prison. That's a fact. In Puffy's situation... He should go and get his time out the way. Not no life sentence. If he can get a lesser time, he should jump on it because he had a great run. I'm in prison right now. I had a great run. So I don't go mad. I don't wake up mad. I've been here for, I've been locked up for 10 years and I ain't had a bad day yet. And it's, it's a lot of things we can do to help each other. And it's never too late for help. God bless us to, to have a voice. Let's use our voice. I had told Puppy a while back. I told T.D. Jets a while back. Kid, come on, collect calls. We can politic. Because one thing for certain, one thing for sure, you're just not going to walk away with one scratch on it. It's do you think like that? Do you think that we, Diddy... He can do so... Do you think Diddy knows enough that it's a very delicate balance that maybe investigators will want to know these other names and greatly reduce his exposure to criminality to time versus what people would do to keep him quiet? Number one, I've been knowing him a long time. And we was friends. We're not enemies, but we were friends. He's not a dummy. So he's smart enough to work his magic. On top of that, this man right here, he's been involved with the FBI and uh, of his career. It's not like he don't have no moves. So I don't I don't think nobody should just count him out. Mm. I don't think he, he gonna lay down and just crawl in the corner and die. He probably going through a lot of shit right now because mm. he probably going through a lot of withdrawals for the drugs. But the industry got him on drugs. 
And see, they do these things to take control. They're not doing, there's nothing wrong with being gay. If you choose to be gay, that's your preference. But they're doing this to people for control. It's a power situation. Shug. Um, and they've been having the power of the, yes. I, I appreciate your perspective uh, on this. 